Now, our next act is a female magician who conjured up a fantastic audition, and I can guarantee that after the series is finished, you'll be seeing this lady in Las Vegas. Oh! How can you be so sure of that? She lives there. Oh. Yeah, she lives there. It's Chloe Louise Crawford. <laughs> I'm Chloe Louise Crawford. I'm 27. I live in Las Vegas. I'm a magician's assistant. I'm originally from Portsmouth. I lived there until I was like 18 and then decided I wanted to travel the world. I first started out as a magician's assistant about eight years ago. I just got asked to help out. I fell into it and then fell in love with it. I loved being inside the tricks. You hear all the oohs and ahs from everyone outside. But it would be nice to be on the outside of the box and be able to see people's faces when they're, when they're amazed. Yeah! I think it would be pretty awesome if my time on Britain's Got Talent inspired other women. Yeah! It's time to have more women out there doing magic. My performance tonight, it's all on me, it's all on my head, and there's a lot that could go wrong. It's something that no one has done on this scale on Britain's Got Talent before. I put a spell on you Because you're mine You better stop the things you do I tell you I ain't lying Are sensational. I love you. I think you have fantastic stage presence. You are, you're a great dancer as well. And I think that, like you said in your VT, seeing a woman up there doing what you're doing is quite rare. So for that, I admire you. Looking at the act itself, I wasn't that impressed, if I'm being honest with you. I just felt like he was floating around in the air for way too long. And I think I was expecting more because in your audition, when we saw you up in the theatre and you appeared out of nowhere, it was more Stop of a surprise. Simon, shut up. However, <laughs> <laughs> as I said, you're a great stage person, I do love you, but I think I was just expecting a little bit more. Yeah. I'm going to agree, and it's not because yeah. we're jealous or anything know. else. She's absolutely stunning and beautiful and intoxicating. I mean, I, wouldn't, I couldn't take my eyes off you, because yeah. you are so beautiful. Yeah. But I kind of agree with Alicia. Yeah. Even though it was yeah. wonderful to see other aspects of what you can do, such as your dance, it did feel like a long wait. And I didn't feel that, that there was that much mystery, if I'm being really honest. But I'll let Simon do his own critique. And well, I'm sorry, she you. just flew in mid-air. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I fly in mid-air, I mean, was there not 
That's a love. That was incredible. I don't know how you did that, unless you really can fly. <laughs> um, I'm just surprised Squidly and Diddly didn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you very much. <laughs> Could do a joke about levitation, but I won't, because that would be wrong. Um, and actually, you're the very first... Um, you're the very, very first female magician I think we've ever had yeah, on yeah. Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. It's a shame you're not more attractive, but there we go. <laughs> Can't have everything, can you? I don't, I don't think you got enough credit for what you just did, because we don't see many uh, female magicians, and it was a fantastic show. Um, I think, you know what it is? I think they're just a bit tired tonight, that's all. <laughs> Okay. That's all it is. Simon, you're slightly showing off because you fancy her. Thank so you, we're just thank you judges. Out. Thank you, judges. Well done, Chloe. You pleased with that? I, I am, fancy yeah. Good, good. Well, listen, great yeah. comments from, from all four of them. They're lovely things out there. And if, remember, it's not up to our judges, it's up to you at home. If you want to see Chloe in the final on Sunday, the number to call is all in or two all. 44, 24, or two from Landline. Or two or four by the app, but not until the end of the show. One more time, Chloe Louise Crawford. Thank you.